the trick is going to be not gluing the switch mechanism. Don't be afraid to yank your connections because that's the way to tell if your solder is really set or not. The longer you got the tip on the solder, the more likely you are to get the solder on the tip here and that's definitely a hindrance. Basically what you want the solder to do is get wet enough that it soaks through any fringes and basically locks that in place. And if you do get too much solder, stuff called solder wick, which is basically braided copper, you just brush it off. So that connection's good. The glue is set and it hasn't ruined the mechanism. Now I need some more wire. This is some cheap dollar store stuff. I'm hoping it's going to work out all right here. Let's cut a new length. Well, the only downside to having a soldering gun instead of an iron is that it takes a while to heat up. Now well, I'm going to need to protect these connections from uh, crosstalk. We'll get out some good old heat shrink here and cut up a couple slices. Don't need a lot, but I like to make sure everything's covered. I'm going to cover this lead completely. And then this one is coming up for the next one. And over here, just got to wire up that other wire. Of course, it'd help to have this plugged into the wall, baby. And it works. So, let's get this in here.
Ah, I screwed them up. You gotta undo it. That's why I always check your connections. wire sucks. Now at this point, may as well just go with the real stuff. So I forgot to put some heat shrink on this side, but as long as this one is all covered, and then I cover both of them, we got no problem. The idea behind heat shrink is that you don't have to get it all tight down, you just gotta lock it on there and keep it in place. So if you got a lighter, that'll work too, but as you saw, this one's kind of weak here. I think lighters are a little dangerous because they're just as uncontrollable, I guess. Not dangerous as far as, like, lighting stuff on fire, but dangerous insofar as you could burn through the wire itself. The heat gun gets hot, don't get me wrong there. That's a few hundred degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius. So that goes down pretty good there. And what I'm going to do for a final trick is just put a little dab of super glue right in here so if this gets pulled, it won't uh, yank the whole thing apart. <laughs> 